day is an awesome day. And the reason is we get to test and talk about two of the hottest trail crawlers in the market. The Traxxas TRX4 Sport and the Red Cat Gen 8. 340, 300. We're going to put them head to head. Put them in the Thunderdome, so to speak. Uh, why? Because they're two of the best. Two of the newest and two of the best. Brand new engineering efforts from, from two teams and they're using portal axles, which is kind of a, uh, a requirement these days if you want to compete at a high level uh, for years to come because it gives you ground clearance. Crawling, clearance is everything. And center of gravity. So, why the TRX4 Sport? They have five models. Uh, this is the cheapest. Uh, it, well, first, we want to match the price of this one. It's already too expensive, 40 bucks more. But um, it is, it is, uh, it's the one that matches it closely. Uh, simple and a, and a true trail crawler. Um, and it's actually the best performing, too, of, of all that bunch. You know, the Defender and the Bronco are, are great vehicles. But um, they try to do more. They try to do a lot more uh, uh, trail running, a little bit of bashing. Uh, this one is just a crawler, just like this one. The Gen 8, highly touted, much anticipated. Uh, really exciting when a, new co when a company uh, invests the R&D uh, to fund a new project. They researched everything on the market, including this, and came up with their own this month. Um, and our first look is very impressive. So. But we're here to help. Uh, we're, help. we're here to help you decide which is the better vehicle, first and foremost, and which one is the better vehicle for you. So in that end, we're going to break this up into many categories. Um, things like body quality, uh, uh, QC, uh, rock climbing ability. Uh, some are more important than others, uh, but we'll try to declare a winner in each one. Uh, you may disagree on some of these. But the, the important thing is that we, we discuss it, we talk about it. And in the end, I think um, um, we, we weigh some things more than others. And then if it's close, we, we, we try to hash it out and declare uh, uh, which one is the better crawler. Uh, so the first category is price. Who delivers more for your hard earned dollar? 300, 340, clearly $40 cheaper. But if they were the same price, this would still be the better value. Um, and the reason is it has a much better body. It's a $100 body with all the detail, the fenders, the, the 3D molding, uh, and this is like a $40 body. So a lot more went into this. They give you an extra tire. Um, what else do they give you? Um, but I, I'd say it's about $100. Uh, better value than this, uh, including the 40 bucks. So, clear winner, Red Cat. The um, assembly and build quality, quality control. So, uh, Red Cat has really upped their game in this department. The Gen 7 wasn't quite there. It was a good starter. Uh, Traxxas has been high on that, uh, but they've been upping the game as well. Um, and we have a winner. Well, let me talk about the factors first. So this one, we have five of these models now. This was the latest. You, you open it, you run it, and uh, it's always been consistent. The trim level, the oil on the shocks, the, the grease in the, in the gears, it's good. This one, we found a few flaws. Um, first one is all the, some of the gears were bone dry. Um, so they're, um, we, we feel wear might happen, they're a little noisy. The um, one of the a couple of the shocks were overfilled. We have two of them, and they they behave they behave different. One was locking out early uh, because the shocks uh, was overfilled on a couple of them. Uh, the steering one had more steering than the other, um, um, and so QC is not quite there. Manufacturing not quite there. Definitely at a high level, but the winner has to be Traxxas. Body quality. Uh, how is the body? You know, uh, we're emotional people. When we buy a real car, we look at the body first. A lot of the purchase is based on that. Does it, um, yeah, how does it look? How does it, does it speak to us? And the clear winner here is, well, let me talk about the factors. This one is, is, a, is a light body, 
it's, a, it's, it's modeled after nothing, kind of looks like a Ranger or Tacoma. Uh, this one is an International Harvester Scout 2, uh, one of the later models, a big one. Um, they extended the, the wheelbase just to accommodate the body. They're paying money to International Harvester so they can use the name. Um, and it's about a hundred dollar body, you know, with, uh, um, with everything included. So, and it's beautiful from any angle. You're like, dang, a couple problems here and there, but, um, clear winner is the, uh, red cap steering angle. This is the most interesting, uh, category for me because this was a groundbreaker. 45 degree steering angle. Steering angle, very important in crawling. Um, one of the most important. Uh, 45 degree, and you can actually do it and turn the wheels while it's at 45 degrees, so amazing. Um, this one on the spec sheet's at 47. So it's really attracted a lot of people uh, to it because the old uh, Gen 7 was only like 32, 33. Uh, so to do 47 is amazing. Unfortunately, it's not delivering 47. <laughs> Out of the box, both of them, one's like low 40s. Both of them are in the low 40s, but they're different. Uh, but they're clearly not 45. And you'll see it on the video. You, you turn them as tight as possible, full trim, tight as possible. Um, how tight can it be? Quite a bit tighter um, uh, on the radius than this. So winner, Traxxas. And pew pew for not being truthful on the uh, on the specs. It, it's just not gonna 47, 47 and turn the wheels with power. Um, so sorry about that, Red Cat. Next one, drivetrain smoothness. So drivetrain smoothness is how quiet is it? How smooth are the gears uh, uh, turning? Um, how easy it is to modulate the crawl at slow speed. Uh, this one's kind of noisy. The ESC is a little bit jerky. The thing is sensitive. Um, uh, a little crunchy. Hoping it smooths out. Hoping when we add some grease it'll be better. But the clear winner here is Traxxas. This is the king of smoothness. Next category is radio, transmitter, receiver. That's the same as the uh, Gen 7. It's a simplified version of the other TRX-4s. No knobs, very hard to um, adjust endpoints and whatnot. Um, you, you can't have the, the, the TQI link. Very simple, but nice to modulate, nice to handle. This one, uh, you have to open it, this stiff little thing, every time. The light's too bright. Um, a little touchy. Both of them are upgrade ready. It's a tie. The body mounting system. Body mounting system. This one's super interesting. We've been doing uh, body posts and, and body pins forever. Um, it's okay. Not really. <laughs> they look ugly. You, you lose the pins all the time. And it rattles. Um, this is where Red Cat really stepped it up. Uh, they put a, a wheel well on wheel well system with Velcro or magnets. I have magnets on this one. And it's easy to, to find where it is because it's kind of keyed. Press down and you're good. Uh, it doesn't rattle. Winner by a landslide. Um, it's not compatible with everything yet, but they do give you body posts. But that will change, I think. The whole industry will shift to, to this system. It's our, it's our opinion. Tires. Um, these have Canyon Trail proven. And these are, um, what do you call it? Swamper, Super Swamper, IROC. Um, kind of gnarly looking tire with a continuous center knob. Has memory foam, which is a big mistake. It uh, doesn't work in cold weather, and it doesn't really work on trail. Clear winner is the TRX4 Canyon Trail. Suspension geometry. 
something kind of important. They both have amazing articulation, a lot of travel. Um, but this one is dialed. Uh, it articulates and steers at the same time pretty much perfectly. Um, this one is work in progress. You know, they, they got there, they have a pan hard three link system in front, and it's a little bit uh, troubled. Uh, it goes to the side when you, when you press it, shock hits. Um, the, um, the, the servo is too far forward because uh, the motor is far forward, so there's not a lot of room, and you have a little bit of um, to uh, bump steer. So not quite as dialed, but uh, it you know on the trail it's hardly noticeable. It, it it articulates very well. So but we'll have to give the uh, oh the other the other thing is the layout. The servo is right there, right by the bumper. If you don't run a bumper, you're gonna hit your servo. Or as soon as a rock clears the bumper, it's gonna hit your servo. Ooh, that could be serious. Um, so winner is the Traxxas waterproofing. Both of them are pretty much water resistant. You could run through a puddle um, and uh, and be okay. Except for some reason they did not. They just had an open uh, receiver box here. It's definitely going to get wet and ruined. But it's very easy to seal. Uh, but they didn't do it. I'm not sure why. So the winner for waterproofing and um, um, elements resistance dust proofing goes to Traxxas. Top speed and torque. Uh, both of them have an awesome 550 motor. Most most uh, crawlers have a 540. This is a, this is a longer can, so more power, more torque, uh, more low speed control, uh, more you know more durability. It's not working as hard. Uh, they both go about eight miles an hour on on three cell, so tie. Stock servo, 125 ounce inches, about a 170 uh, ounce inch, but slower. Um, and this is heavier, more more front heavy than this. So they both perform about the same. So we'll give that a tie. They're both upgrade ready, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Side hilling, both awesome. They look like they're like 45 degrees before they tip over. That's a tie. And that's pretty impressive for having a body this size uh, and, and, and matching up to this. Steep climbs. We'll have to give the winner to this one. Um, they're very close. You know, this one's front heavy, so it grabs pretty good. Um, stock tires are no good um, but the bumper on this will hit because they're trying to accommodate this long big body the rear is kind of long and uh, the, the rear bumper hangs up so this takes it the most important thing of all this is uh, rocky climbs who rock crawls better and the uh, this is very very good and this is kind of the gold standard. You know, both of them have portals for rock crawling. Um, but the servos here kind of exposed. The, um, the portal is a little lower than here, about two, three millimeters. These links attach lower than here. Over there, it's almost flat. Uh, and then you have a center bump um, right here. Your, the, the side rails, or what do you call the, the, the side, um, Side guards um, are a little lower here, hang up. So this is where most of the video you're gonna see is. Uh, they're tied on a, a few a lot a few things, but it was like seven and zero. Uh, this did seven more hard stuff than this. This this couldn't outdo that. Winner is the Traxxas.
extras, metal bits and whatnot, uh, this uh, winner is here. They give you a metal axle cover, metal servo horn, which is absolutely crucial, and a um, metal shocks, full body shocks. So, uh, a great addition. So, props to Red Cat for doing Red that, Cat. for doing that. And finally, aftermarket availability. Um, you know, if you want to upgrade new bumper, new new uh, battery tray, new portal uh, axle in brass, everything's here. This one's so new that it's going to take a while. And and some company and some companies they don't, they don't get any aftermarket support because they're they don't have the units and they don't have the quality. Um, clearly, this will have the units and the and, and now has the quality. So it's going to come. But it's gonna take months, maybe years, to get what this has. You know, this has a two-year advantage with the TRX4 Defender, uh, so it's gonna be a little catch-up here. So there you go. I think we have a winner, and um, it's this one. It, it's better than the Axels. It's better than the than the uh, the Terrus uh, and the everything and now it's better than this but this one um you know doesn't give much up um, because it's it could be second place could be third place you know it's it's very very good yeah it just does not quite up to this level uh, but version one and uh, a lot of these things are fixable uh, with, with mods and, and versions so amazing effort from the challenger but the king resides, presides. Thank you.